UFC 296 is this weekend. No, 295 is this weekend. I'm fired up for the card. It's going to be a good one. If you're new to the channel, I make my predictions based off of pure mana reads and blinker hits. We're doing an OP combinate combination today of the two in order to maximize our chances of sweeping the upcoming card. Let's get right into it. We'll start out with the card opener right after we cleanse ah! right after we cleanse the air and do a blinker. Alright, Ursag vs. Costa is the card opener. Short notice replacement from Alessandro Costa. Ursag had his opponent pull out. Match now. I'm going to go with Ursag on this one. Dominant decision. Costa's no, not, not bad or anything, but uh, I think the short notice will really play a difference here. And um, but yeah, I'll take Ursag. Ursag's pretty good. So, let's move right on up. John, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> John Castaneda versus Kyung Ho Kang. Hey. You know I'm in for my mana reads, like I say, anyone can watch tape, anyone can read topology. Stupid way to pick a fight in my personal opinion. John Castaneda is going to get this done by Latino Chadness. A lot of these Kyung Ho Kang types are very good martial artists. But they don't got that dog, that fighter in them, that pero, el pero in them. Going to ride with Castaneda all day by decision. Tabitha Ricci versus Lupita Godinez. Bunda, bunda, bunda time. I'm going to go with uh, Lupita Godinez in this one. <laughs> Close fight, though, to be honest. Ricci could possibly win, especially if she, she can she, secure top control. But I'm not a man who gets distracted by bunda in my picks. I'm going to take Lupita Godinez by this one. <laughs> Decision. But really, honestly, who cares uh, about that one? <coughs> kind of a waste of a blinker. <coughs> Hmm. All right, back back at it. All right, <coughs> Nazim Sadikov versus Vyacheslav Slava Claus Borchev. <coughs> you know I'm gonna have to take um. Nazim in this one, I think, by decision. <laughs> I'm not getting good mana reads from Borshev that he improved his takedown defense, your submission defense, adequately. So I'm going to take Nazim probably by first round KO, running through Borshev, getting the takedown, <coughs> capitalizing on it, and <coughs> getting the submission. <coughs> Shit. I mean, oh, I do have a water. Hey, any water enjoyers watching, drop some water emojis, some splash emojis in the chat. I'm drinking a pure life right now. <laughs> we'll take another one, I guess. Did I just do one? I don't know. Denise Bazooka 
versus Jamal Emers. Hey man, I gotta take Emers in this one. You, you feel me? This one's kind of a pure mana based uh, pick. But I'm gonna take Emers by decision. Yeah, I think so. Manage the distance on Bazookia. Pop him up, piece him up, <laughs> get out of decision. <coughs> In honor of Jared Gordon's sobriety, we're not going to do one of these for his fight. We're just gonna <laughs> spin this son of a bitch. All right, <coughs> Jared Gordon versus Mark Madsen. <coughs> a lot of people picking Jared Gordon. A lot of people sleeping on my Scandinavian uh, soy boy, LGBTQ plus member Mark Madsen. Hey, you just saw what Nick <coughs> Glory Hole Dalby did last weekend. Mark Madsen all day by Scandinavian Grapple Grape on Jared Gordon. Poor little Jared. Gonna lose another one. Terrible. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back into it. Let's have a little bit more water. Like I said, if you're a water enjoyer, just drop a water emoji in the comments just to show your appreciation for water. <sighs> that Gordon Madsen fight merit very well may end up being the uh, future prelim. Because right now the future prelims listed as Joshua Van versus Kevin Borjas. I doubt that's going to stay as the future prelim. <clears throat> you know what? Just easy one here. I'm going to take Joshua Van by decision. I don't think it's an easy fight to necessarily pick. Borjas definitely has a way to, to win it. I mean, he could possibly KO Van, but I think Van uh, just a bit better all around. <coughs> Especially on the feet. So I'm going to take Van. Decision. All right, we're at the main card. And I'm not exactly sure how it's going to play out. What's the opening fight or not? Because it's listed a diff different in a couple of places. We'll just start with Diego Lopez versus Pat Sabatini. It should be a fun display here of uh, grappling and uh, uh, jiu-jitsu specifically, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to take Diego Lopez. <laughs> I think Diego has enough that if Pat's winning the scrambles and exchanges, Diego's going to be able to throw stuff up to make him you know back off or open up <coughs> escape paths for himself Diego so I'm gonna take Diego out damaging him and winning yeah taking at least two rounds there going to the decision though I think Pat Sabatini won't get submitted by um Diego Lopez you know he does have those like little midget arms so it's gonna be hard to <coughs> get one of those <coughs> I think decision Diego Lopez Anyway, Matt Frivola versus Benoit Saint Denis. This might also be the featured or the, the card opener. I'm not 100 percent <coughs> So uh <coughs> ah, fucking shit. Benoit Saint Denis, man! Hey, he's going to treat Matt Prevola like he is the independent sovereign nation of Mali. And he is the French military. And he's going to blast through there. Secure himself some cocoa fields and some, you know, chocolate uh, uh, processing plants. <coughs> no matter what anybody says. And hey, if Prevola hits him, he's going to recover. Benoit Saint Denis is the chattest. He's the one of the chattest of chads. Um, and you know what? I just like to draw this out because I made a video about Tom Aspinall the other day and um, got a lot of hate from Brits. A lot, a lot of Brits unsubscribing. Hey, who's the only people who can't take jokes about themselves? You know what's hilarious? Everyone goes, oh, uh, you know, so and so, these people can't take jokes about themselves. Like uh, Jamal Hill, Bobby Green types. Sure, they can. Sure, they can. Absolutely, they can. You know who can't? Arrogant British people. But guess what? The French, the modern day Frenchman, mogs the modern day Brit. Is all I'm gonna say. 
uh, Bonoit Saints. <laughs> this isn't really even relevant to the Frivola matchup. Frivola is a Chad Long Islander eating sausage, bacon, eggers. Um, he definitely has a sh he can definitely beat Frivola. I think this fight's gonna end in the first round. Or sorry, I think Frivola can definitely beat Saint Denis. This fight's definitely gonna end in the first round. Frivola might catch him um, up against the cage, like when when for, uh, Saint Denis pressuring in on him. I think Frivola. I think he's gonna get put out though by Saint Denis. First round KO for the God of War. Mackenzie Dern versus uh, Jessica Andrade. Bunda versus... I'm going with Mackenzie Dern by Bunda Domination. Second round submission. Wearing down Andrade. Breaking her in the first. Submitting her in the second. Let's cleanse the air from my thoughts. And we'll move on up to the co-main event, which is what we've all been waiting for. These two fights, Sergey Chadplovich versus Tom Aspisoy. Mm. Uh, Sergey Pavlovich by Brutal embarrassing beat down on Tom Aspinall leaving his chin up all over the place um oh I know he's like oh I'm not gonna enter into the pocket with Sergey okay so what you're gonna take him down with your chin up in the air and get smoked you punk uh Sergey Pavlovich is looking to stuff your takedowns early so what's Tom Aspinall's job try to uh, option drag out the fight or enter into the pocket with Sergey the longest arms in the UFC, or biggest ape index, or whatever, in the UFC. He's going to connect on Tom Aspinall's chin. Hurt him like he's never been hurt before. And once that happens, all of that crazy footwork, crazy crap goes out the door. It becomes a heavyweight slugfest. If Tom has any uh, way of surviving it, he's going to have to throw back. And we know Sergey's chin is going to be able to take Tom's punches. 100% Sergey by brutal beat down. Fight go, might go a little bit longer than his normal ones, but I don't see it getting out of the first. Absolutely fraud checks Tom Aspinall. Let's clear the fight from that one. Get the British out of the air. Alex Pereira versus Yuri Prohashka. Gonna be a sick fight. Honestly, great main event. I'm not even upset about Jones versus Stipe falling off. This card actually shook out better because of this. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <coughs> <coughs> what's my mana reads for this fight? Well, Yuri Prohashka is pretty much a creep. I know a lot of people like him. And I'm kind of torn between liking him because he has a very exciting style in the octagon. Oh, he's a total creep. Total weirdo. You know, doing like putting his hair like, hey, I respect people who try to like channel their mana. And Yuri Prohaska is going about it, but in the wrong way. Like he doesn't need to do these <coughs> hair things like Cedricus Dumas when he could really just get a conical hat like uh, Richie Lang or the Mongolians do, man. They're not doing anything silly with their hair. And they're also not adopting an entire other culture's belief systems, like Bushido. This is ridiculous, all right? Japanese people look <laughs> at Western people who adopt their culture as, like, completely cre creeps. They're complete creeps. Like, dude, I get you want to have, like, a warrior thing and you don't believe in God. Okay, fine. Um, you do realize there's, like, B Bushido equivalents from Czech. Czechia and Germany and stuff like that like medieval warrior pamphlets on how warriors and stuff should conduct themselves um you don't have to become a weeaboo I'm taking Alex Pereira by absolute Chad Brazilian beatdown 
on Yeri Prohaska, who I do like. You know, he's a big cigarette enjoyer, that type of stuff. But um, just uh, there's a few things I can't get over with him. And it does affect my manner rates. But also, if you really want to compare the styles, Yuri Prohaska's legs are going to get brutalized, especially early. We saw what Alex Pereira did to Jan Blahovich. Tree trunk, Elmwood, Polish Ashwood legs. Jan Blahovich, he was welting him up. There's splattered eggs on his legs. Alex is going to chop down Prohaska's legs. He's going to be able to time the stance switches. And as long as he can avoid the, the damage in the first couple from Prohashka, the real danger in the first couple, which he should be able to by just managing distance and going for leg kicks, he'll be able to really hurt him in the third. I'm going for a KO for Alex Pereira in the third. I do not see Yeri Prohashka offensively wrestling against him. And if he starts to, it's a bad sign. Poetan will counter him. Now, it's dangerous for Poetan. Similar to like the Frivola St. Denis fight, Poetan might enter, just like he did against Izzy, into the pocket and get caught with a counter because Yuri's recovery is insane. He doesn't really have like the greatest chin, but his recovery is insane. Like he admitted to getting KO'd by Reyes, but he recovered within like two seconds and literally landed in like side mount. A perfect side mount. So I don't know, the guy's body is, he's doing something right to get his body attuned to the sport and martial arts in general. But I think Poetan with the leg kicks, able to time the stance switches and just Yeri's overall general lower hands. Like Poetan doesn't have the greatest guard, especially when he's offensive. And the uh, he doesn't have the greatest defensive awareness when he's offensive, but he's, <laughs> he's definitely better than Yeri. And I don't know if Yeri can eat shots like he does, like from Uzdemir and uh, Clover from Poetan. So, Poetan, third round KO. Anyway, if you haven't joined the topology yet, there's a link in the description. It's like a fantasy MMA picks thing. Free to join. You just put in your picks for the week, for the card, you know, who you think's going to win, how they win, what round, or whatever decision, whatever. And then the winner gets mentioned in my recap video. You get some clout. And we'll start doing some prizes soon. So join that. Description is in the... The link is in the description. And besides that, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. I really appreciate it. I'd also like to give a big shout out to all my channel members. Without you guys, the channel would not be possible. Especially my Lion Tier members. Coltus Gordon, Uniform Down, Ninja Choke, Mexican Gnome, Clarence, Mike Brannigan, Javier, Cobra Kai, Pigger, Strap Joxon, Patrick Call, Droid C, John Paul DeHoria, Palpadank TV, Calico, Jack Clash, High Cap Native, Wings of Heart Problems, Boss Skaggs, RC Cola, and Bubster Johnson. Dima Bobby. Dima Mommy.